Welcome to part 13 of rebuilding a very old horizontal steam engine. This covers fitting the main bearings and the new crankshaft. Originally I was going to bundle this fitting of the crankshaft in with something else, but I thought to myself, no I won't because it is so important to get this right. So important in fact, that if you don't get it right, you may as well have not bothered rebuilding the engine in the first place. The original crankshaft on this engine was bent and I'm pretty sure that someone in the past had tried to compensate for this by putting some rough packings under one of the bearings. These are going in the bin because my crankshaft, which is not bent, seems to spin quite well without these packings in place. In a previous episode, the one about actually making the crankshaft, I believe, if I remember rightly, I showed how I put a parallel reamer, that's a half inch reamer, through the main bearings, just to make sure everything was in alignment. And although I didn't say at the time, I did notice that there was a little bit of an error. And once I'd put this reamer through the main bearings, suddenly, with the caps tightened down, the whole thing spun very freely. And as I said at the beginning of this video, if you do not get this right, your engine will never run properly. But if you take your time and refit the crankshaft correctly, you shouldn't get any clunking noises. Over now to the crosshead guides. And here's the first mistake, I forgot to paint these little bobbins that go in between the crosshead guides. I don't need to say very much about refitting crosshead guides. Reassembly is exactly the same as disassembly, but in reverse. As you can see, I've missed one or two bits on this paint. I'll touch those up in due course. I'm really liking this Great Northern Railway locomotive green. I will use it again. Occasionally I get some stupid comments on the channel, but the other day I got a really good one. This viewer said that steam engines are usually painted green because in the past the paint contained copper compounds, which of course are poisonous, now they don't, it's a different thing altogether. And by adding these copper compounds to the paint, the paint would then have some anti-corrosion properties. Interesting, eh? With the little brass cups on, it's looking really good now. I haven't fully tightened them. I'll do that when I finish the engine. Thanks for watching, I hope you found it useful.